welcome to Older is Optional. We're here today uh, because Paul wants to show you and share with you his recipe for salted bait. Well, um, Leanne is here for her beauty and I'm here for comic value. So we're going to do some bait, salted baits today. It's a really good way to make your baits last longer, particularly when you come home from fishing and you spend a small fortune on fish but haven't caught any fish and you've got all this leftover bait. Rather than just shoving it in your um, freezer, why not salt it? And then it doesn't have to be kept as cold as long a period. And particularly with old pilchards, they go a bit saggy and mouldy and horrible second, third, fourth and fifth times you freeze them. So this is a way to prolong your baits and it's really good for fishing. So it's very simple. All you need is this container and you look, there's some holes in there that I drilled and cracked, but it does the job. So we do that. We just put it put in a piece of paper towel. What that paper towel does is that absorbs the moisture and also stops the salt going through where our holes are. So we put that down first and then we pour a heap of salt in there. Now, we couldn't get the one I normally like, but what we don't want is iodized salt, non iodized salt. And you do that by reading the ingredients. So we just put a base down of salt. We must put all that in. So, as you can see, just spread that around. A bit of salt. If you're having chicken tonight, you can put a bit of salt on your chicken. Right, now we have got a pilchard, some chicken, and a squid. And we're going to do them all together. So we just put them in here, it's just preferably so they're not touching, just into the salt. It's really not rocket science, it's not really that difficult. We just put this into the salt. We're going to run a room, but it doesn't matter. And we're just going to put the chicken over here. So we've got three types of bait there. We can cut it up once it's salted, but that's all ready to go. We now get the remainder of the salt. Um, is it an easy way? And we're going to be here for a little while. Get a drink, settle in. That's going to have to change, I reckon, Lynn. So let's see if I can undo the lid. I can. So undo the lid and we just pour salt all over the top. More is best. Fill it all up. And you can reuse the salt each time. Just got to let it dry out in between sessions. So we've got pilchard, chicken, and squid all ready to go. Can't see it there. It's all under the salt. We then grab um, another piece of paper toweling I had prepared earlier, like Peter Russell Clark. When I had prepared earlier. What's a Peter Clark used to say? G'day. Can you do it for me? G'day and see you later. G'day. <laughs> right. So here we go. We put another piece of paper on top. We then put the lid on. Now, Leanne's concerned and she's right that it turns into terror, terrarium. Which, terrarium. And we don't want it to turn into a terrarium so the moisture will drain out of those holes but if you put it flat somewhere it's difficult for that moisture to drain out and it will really smell and it's not very nice water so to overcome that we get another container like this and we just sit it there on top which allows the moisture to go through and pull at the bottom we will put that outside for about 24 hours then we come back take all the salt out Bob's your uncle she's good to go you can either then cut it up and take it fishing that day or you can put it in some snap lock bags individually so it's easy to get out as it freezes and freeze it for next time you go fishing. Perfect. And you're keeping your bait fresh and usable and saving money. And you know what the best part is? Because it's salted it doesn't smell and your wife, girlfriend, doesn't nag. And I'm going to give you tips. Here's my tip for you with all your wives and girlfriends. Have a toast to wives and girlfriends that they never meet. That's very bad, but I think it's funny. So, salted baits, very easy to do, good to go, and it keeps your young lady happy. Thank you, see you next time. Don't forget, if you don't mind, to subscribe and to like, and while I'm at it, it reminds me of my favorite Bible passage, which is up on the screen, right, right there, right now. See you later.